Hey guys, it's Romina. I am finally back after months and months of not posting any video, but you know, sometimes life just gets tough, but I hope you are all doing very well. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a little makeover because you know, it's the start of a new year. So I thought this would be fun. Um, I'm not going to be doing anything too crazy, just makeup and styling my hair. I'm not going to dye my hair or anything crazy like that, but I do want to get like a haircut soon. I don't know when that will be, but basically, if you don't know already, I literally never wear makeup like never ever maybe just for like ballet performances the last time i did put on makeup was for a video i think it was like a get ready with me i'll leave that video linked up here if you do want to watch it but i've been watching a little bit too much of james charles lately and i've kind of been like inspired motivated to try things out i do want to do a natural little look so nothing too crazy nothing too like colorful i kind of want to keep it very natural also my hair is in braids that's why it kind of looks crazy so it gets like curly you know like add to the look so i really hope you guys enjoy this video and i'm so glad to be back making videos i will be trying to post at least once a week but my goal is to post twice a week so we'll see how that goes yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video make sure to give this a video a like and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already because so much more content is coming soon now let's get to doing my makeup <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you guys can see, but basically I have everything here. Like I said, I never do makeup, so I literally don't have much. I just have this random palette. I think I got like at like TJ Maxx or something like that, like a hundred years ago. And then I have these samples that I got from Sephora. Okay, so I hope you guys can see me a little better now. But we're gonna start off by foundation. I do not know what color I am. I feel like I'm this one or this one. I have my damn beauty blender. I don't know, that's just what James Charles said. Oh wow, that's nothing. That's not gonna cover. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna try to like mix both of them. Oh wow, I think that's my color. I don't know how to tell. Also, this is not a tutorial at all, so please don't follow what I'm doing because I really don't know what I'm doing. I used three colors of foundation and I did not mix them. I just put different ones on different areas. So like, I might be very like light on my forehead and then like very dark on my chin. I also really wish I had concealer so I can like, you know, look blemishes and it will just look much more smoother. Poreless, normal to powder. Don't I need like some transparent powder? I don't know. I don't know. I have this fit me something. I don't know what it is. It's some type of powder. Y'all might be screaming at me through the screen because I really, this doesn't do anything or does it? Maybe it just makes it like more like matte I guess. I really don't know what I'm doing but I'm just going with the flow of my brain. I'm done with foundation and powder but I don't know if it made a difference. It kind of made my like nose look like super dry. Like it kind of looks like very ugly. I don't know how like, to fix that. Maybe I should do eyeshadow now. Okay, I'm not gonna do eyeshadow just yet. I'm actually gonna do contour and blush. Oh, how do you even... <gasps> we'll fix it when we blend, right? Then... <gasps> it's not blending! No, no! I don't know if you guys can see, but this bronzer is not blending. Oh my gosh, it literally does not blend. Did I put too much? Oh, what if I use a beauty blender to like kind of take it off? Okay, I'll catch you guys when I fix this because I need to blend this for 100 more years. We're just going to do a little bit of blush now and a tiny bit because it is already just going very not as planned. Okay, now we're gonna do a highlight. I think this is not really working out because this is like a kind of like a trash palette. Maybe it isn't my fault, guys, but probably is, honestly. Okay, so I just did a highlighter. Well, attempted to. I have this little milk makeup primer and this. <gasps> Wait, what is primer for? Wait, this is for your eyelids, no? I should have used this one instead of the powder one. I really like this one. Okay, so I want like a little like eyelid golden look kind of. We're gonna start off with a light color. We're literally just gonna use little golden colors. Also, I haven't gotten my eyebrows done since literally prom which was like almost two years ago that looks decent it's not pigmented you know i also want to do like that um like the little eyeliner but you use like a dark colored eyeshadow i think that's what they use okay maybe i need a darker color so you can actually see it <gasps> oh there we go big yikes kind of gave up on eyelids because i don't know what i'm doing and i don't really know what i'm doing but we're gonna go on to eyebrows because i still don't know how to do them i'm gonna be using the foolproof brow powder and just do what you do on your eyebrows i don't know what that is i just watch james Charles, and then all of a sudden i feel like i know and i really don't try to brush them out first what am i doing i'm going to use this 3d brow tones by benefit my eyebrows are looking really rough. We're gonna do a little eye thing, yeah, like I said. Why is everything just so... 
ugly. I have this elf black eyeliner, but I'm not gonna use this. Please don't scream at me. <gasps> that looks horrible. I don't know how I'm gonna fix that. Okay, I tried to take off the eyeliner as best as possible. Um, we're just gonna use like a dark color from this palette. I don't know how to do the wing. This is not pigmented. You know what? We're not gonna do that. I just want two eyelashes. Get the bag now. Should have curled them. Oh, honestly, at this point, I think I'm almost just giving up. Okay, so I changed onto my phone so you guys can see how horrible this looks. My eyelashes look so clumpy. I used this one first and it came out good. And then I don't know why I did this, but I decided to use this milk makeup mascara on top and I just made them look like spiders. Me regretting everything. Move on to lips. I'm done with this. No, I want a little more dramatic lips so I can like have this Charlotte Tilbury. See their pillow talk? Okay, I'm gonna do pillow talk actually because the other one is way too dark. There's a lot. Oh, that's actually a really pretty color. That's a really pretty color. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's such a pretty color. So these are the lips. Let me look like a little black light on this one. If you guys want a really pretty lip color like this one, Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury is gorgeous. Okay, I want a little more dramatic, you know? I'm gonna use this Bond Girl. Bond Girl? Bond Girl. Very much purple. So these are the lips. Hopefully my hair looks very dramatic so all the tension goes to my hair instead of the makeup. Okay, so basically, as you can see, my makeup is just not well. Oh, wow. I love that. So this is a hair. I actually really like it. I don't know if I should do those little braids or just like put it like over to give it volume. Well, I'm doing the little braids because I don't know. I just need to like, I just need something in the front area of my hair. So you guys, this is a completed look. I did a little braids, but you can't really tell maybe i should like i don't know but this is a complete look um i don't know how i feel about it but that is basically it for this video i if i do take like some good pictures or some good instagram pictures i'll insert them here but you guys should go follow me on instagram it will be right here i really hope you guys enjoy this video and if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye